Hey, people. If any of y'all want to kill Superman, I'm fixing to get y'all the Holy Grail full of kryptonite. You know, Holy Grail, that's the last thing, the last gold to come from Jesus' lips. And kryptonite to kill Superman. The crypt to hide to the night. And so I was looking for an amusing picture of a comic book when I run into this. And old Fauci has got it right on his chest. You know, if you read it in Hebrew backwards, it's Diane, you know, through none. And the other way, your hand, through none your hand, the aid. And so the yod, you know, that's the hand, but they'll also say that's to know, the ID. And through none you know. So it looks like the people running the world these days are the same people you would have seen in the comic book store. And the main reason these people run the world are they're just a little smarter than everybody else. But to get a better definition of kryptonite, you know, we have to look in as Superman came around in 1933. And his birth name was Kal El. He had this Hebrew birth name, which is, you know, All God. And uh, sometimes they say this is God, and sometimes they say it's two. You know, all two. But with the tack in there, you know, that's Kali. The double L reads as a Kali, which is black or good, and the good God. And so kryptonite is what kills the good God. And so the good God came from Krypton. And so Krypton means hiding, you know, in the crypt, in written in secret code. And so the, the Krypton, it's in hiding. It's encoded. But a ite has another meaning. And it's an it's a English term to mean coded as a man from. And the Jebusite it's just the Jebusy. The Ike is added as a man from. And you see that on all the terms of people. When they're from somewhere, they'll add that Ike. And so, you know, this is Kali L, the, the man and kryptonite. You know, the man from Krypton. And so this is kryptonite. Superman is kryptonite. You know, Superman was born in Krypton. It made him a kryptonite. And he lived under a pseudonym of Clark Kent when he was in hiding. He didn't want anybody to know that he was Cali L. And so, you know, tis jar is stin. You know, for who is the one? That's the same as Ite and hiding. The Krypton, for who is the one? The Kryptonite. So I had concentrated on the first and last chapters of Job. You know, this is the oldest book. And I hit the middle a little bit to see what was going on. But, you know, I always get the best information from the top and the bottom of a page from the first and the last chapter. It speeds things up. So I figured out what it meant in the Hebrew, and I came over here to the Greek to confirm it. And I found a huge chunk of information just in these first three lines that confirm what I was saying before. So two movies ago, I showed where the owl... The council is the symbol for Job. And it's the same as Jehovah. And uh, I'll leave the link up here. And don't miss it. It's got my best like and retention stats. And you see some code words in here that you see in the Tower of Babel. You know, to the things which I knew not great and wonderful things which I had no knowledge. It's always good to pick up knowledge. And you see here, you know, and and I know that in all things you are able, you know, with this knowledge, they'll be able to do anything. So we got to go in and change their language. And nothing is powerless to you, the way they remix that. And so when you see them number these, you know, they're in the wrong order. And sometimes you look in the Septuagint and they'll be in the order this is numbered. Sometimes it's the same. And I found a good spot that explained that. And what it does, it changes it up the meaning. And instead of, you know, one of them says, and this is the way it is, and the other one where it shifted the words around and changed them a little bit, it'll mean more as this is the way it was at that time. And so this reads, and fall, and fall upon the job, the, 
the talk, the talk where you allege they. And so this one word has a lot of meaning, you know, and it's, it's hypo, you know, what they see means under, under the skin and lab on is the taking. And it's because they're taking the lab on the stars, the planets, where they're sitting at, book of time, you know. And so that's where they're getting the undertaking. But it, it's actually, you know, up all, you know, if everything else is above, then you're under. You know, up all of on. And the job too. And you see it in the Septuagint. This is turned around. And it turns this to legit. Of all of on the job. Legit to carry. Legit to carry. With license to carry. But here, you know, it's you know, to carry alleged they. And to the carry alleged they. You'll see that in the Egyptian and it's all the little things up on the ledge here you know in your in your grandma's karyo cabinet all the little representations and that's where they represent words up on the karyo ledge you know a ledge is you know what they said their word was what a ledge and it comes from the river you know the the river ledge and the river is above you know up all of on the job to you know to lab on the stars and the job to carry a ledge they in of yada udi pon to dynastage advantage de so juden and so this is easier to see in the hebrew and the words almost the same the yada udi you know, it's the hand at, and here it's different. You know, only one of these words goes up. They're looking at two different Bibles. But here, you know, it's the the duty cycle to sell. And so, uh, I know that everything you can do is a duty cycle. When I buy a, a piece of electrical equipment, I'm using a piece of electrical equipment, especially a weld machine, I look at the duty, the duty cycle. And that gives me a rate of how much I can run it. Depending on how I set the amps is how much the duty cycle on my weld machine is. How hard I can run it and how much of a break it needs between run time. And so what their interpretation tell me, you know, that everything, everything works on a cycle. And the duty cycle to clue lay vixer. The, the clue of lay cross, lay in crosser, to lay vixer. My, double M, M, I, um, my comes em. You know, like becomes em, me comes em, is what I become. So the duty cycle, you know, the maximum run time, the, masculine, the maximum running power. I know that everything you can do, I know your total power. The duty cycle took to clue lay an evixer, you know, to get out, and that's, you know, to cross out the days, to lay vixer, to cross them out, becomes me, becomes me. So here in the Greek, you know, o yada, we'll go with to of no, of the hand knowledge is what that is, and they always have cheat sheets that they do on their hand, counting knuckles is what that means, and a yada of of type, of type, T-Y-P on two, of type on two, in all things, that in all things, everything is designed a word, a type, you know, at, make, a font to the writings, and to know a type on two, the dynasage, you know, a dyno, a motor, but dyna actually comes from a word meaning the feathers, and the feathers say, you know, a bird, a bird in power, the dynasage of advantage, you know, the power of a motor. So all these words are spelled a little bit different. It's because they have another meaning when you just read the letters, you know, at advantage, you know, is ad, when, at, they, you know, when their turn to be in power, advantage, Add when at they, 
and deso. Everything having to do with deso is to shrink down, to decelerate, and to deso a juden, the judicial, the juden, the court, and tis tis jar, tis gear. Your gear is your spear back in the day. You know, story fishing gear comes from. Back in the day, they fished with a spear. You know, and your gear is all your equipment. And his gear is stin of a krypton. You know, is the one hiding. And so his gear is it in of krypton, a sea of vowel in. A vowel is a spoken word. And so his gear is is all the stuff that goes with the artwork. You know, you see it in all the old artwork. They wear some strange hats and strange heads, and they carry strange tools. You know, that's his gear. You know, tis, his, his gear is in of a krypton, the sea of vowel on. You know, it has a word in it. The phaedom in as dermiton. You know, the fade, the, the, the age, you know, the age of the dermaton, the skin, you know, the, the colors. And the fade of the dermaton is another crypt that's in the, in the words. And the fade of the dermaton to use, a U-S-E, you know, the key is evolve, U-S-E, to use of a yetage. And so a yetage is something that hasn't happened yet. And to use of yetage means to the future. Yet means, you know, something that's on your list, you know. When I get to it, it's on my list. Maybe not top on my list, but it means I haven't been done yet. And I'm yet to been there. And the yetage, the cryptine tis. And it's, that's the crypt and the hint. The hint is, the crypt hint is in the fade, I mean, as the dermaton, the color of the skin used of the to yetage of the future, the crypt, the crypt hint is, and Dean, D E A N, is, is the head of the school, he's the head teacher, the teacher, a Dean, and the Dean, and this is Angel. A G G E L A N G E L, and the Dean Angel and the head teacher, the Angel Le Moy, Moy, for me, mine, to to Moy, uh, and of a Cadian, you know, is okayed it in, and of a Cadian, Cadians were the world sailors where this information come from. And the Cadian of Mega, of the great law, Mega law, to Amaste, to, to, to Amaste, the double A here becomes a, a Y, A, to Amaste is to bow to, and to the Cadian Mega law, to amaste, to bow to, the owl, and so the E following the K here turns this into an L. Every time you see this word, they say, I shall not. It's not always the same word, and it's never I shall not. You know, it's okay, and you'll see that when you when you see the word for, for yes in the Greek. It's nay, no. They got them backwards. This isn't no, this is okay. But this is the owl of the fistamin. The, and so this is the great proof that the E following the K becomes an L. And because the owl, the fistamin, means knowledge, means great knowledge. You know, namaste, I bow to you, amaste. And so the owl of fistamin, you know, in the owl's feet, so the owl's got the long curved talons, and the outermost toe has would, would evolved to rotate, 
And so they can have, you know, three toes on one side and two in the back when they're on a limb. But if they want to grab a hold of squirmy, a snake, then they flip it around so they'll have four claws on each side and get a better grip, you know. And so the owl's fistamen is, is a squirming prey, is a serpent. And so snakes and owls both associated with wisdom, knowledge. And you see this often. It was in the Aztec culture here in the Americas. You know, the snake representing knowledge and the owl representing wisdom. And of yet to as crypt it tine is to the angel. And so the angel on on is the heavens, the stars, and the angel is the angle lay. So they had these calendars all made up to tell you which angels of the hours, which angels to pray to. And it actually meant nothing like that. But in this old metatonic cycle, you know, this is your hours here. In every block, you got 24 around here. And then you got your, your quarter hours, you know. So you got every 15 minutes has got a different number here. So you got a list of angels that go through the rounds every day, and it clicks off one every day, it changes up every day. And so this is the M.O. you see here, the modus operandum. It means how you get things done. And so you look at that angel's name and see that angel's power, the M.O. But you see this more plain in the Hebrew. And it'll tell you that that's what it's talking about is this metonic cycle or metatonic cycle. And this is job. This is the job of job. And so his, his jar, you know, jar is a spear. And, uh, and it's also a day. And so that's what the planets are. The planets are spears. And they're also days. You know, in his day is it in. His, his jar rests in of Krypton. And so you'll see it in the old alchemical stories. Instead of a word, they'll put the symbol of the day in there. And that symbol of that day will have seven different meanings. And you figure out what meaning it's talking about by the rest of the story. And, and his spear is in of the Krypton Sea, hidden in the secret writings. The vowels fade them in as the dermit on, the skin it on. The use of yetage, the Krypton it is, Dean, the, the teacher of angel lay, the teacher of the angle, angle lay. And ang, ange is also orange when the sun rises in the morning. It's the color of ange. This is also the ba basic word for English. It comes from the same place in the Greek English, spelt with A G G, A G G E L. So in this time, you know, the English were known as the red. They were a bunch of red hairs. They were Irish. Lay moy, a mine. A A O K N, the mega law. To amaste, a owl, the fistum in. You know, the mega law to bow down to the wisdom. So I'm going to cut this off here, and I'll get to the Hebrew in the next movie and show you why I think that these writers come from South America. Good day. Good day.